my dad was a very generous person, a very kind person, a very compassionate person, someone that always wanted to be busy doing something and being involved. He was the county manager of Alexander County for the past 24 years, but a lot of balancing the budget and hiring and all things employment for uh, over 200 employees here at the county. You could tell he was just a person who, who was special. He had that, uh, the character, the attributes that you want in a county leader and as a friend. The Alexander County Family YMCA opened in 2008. Rick was on the board of directors at that time and uh, was highly involved in helping make the YMCA a reality here. He always had a desire for physical fitness. He viewed the why. Not only is this a place for those in the community to come and work out, but you get the social dynamic of it as well. Past 20, 24 years, he supported us in everything that we did, and he just did not want to take the credit for it. He didn't want the recognition. He thought that it should fall on the employees and the other volunteers. As far as Alexander County, this location that we're in, this wonderful location, has not always existed. It used, used to be a wild Main Street. As the popularity and the use and the need for the local Y uh, increased, Rick, along with other local leaders, saw a need to do something bigger, something better, something broader in our community. Able to have our own building and be off of Main Street, that was a huge deal for us. And so he helped us get to that. If it wasn't for him and his big support of the county and bringing more to the community and trying to be a big support, the why wouldn't be here. Rick's involvement was crucial for the success of the Alexander County Family YMCA. It took a lot of fundraising, a lot of uh, community awareness, getting the word out that, hey, we want to do something better for Alexander County. And that's what Rick was all about. And the YMCA is proof. This is a proof of concept that when the community comes together, good things can happen. My dad just set a great example for myself and for my older brother, that a drive and compassion for people to serve people, make them feel valued, make them feel known, make them just feel like they can be themselves. Rick will always be remembered as being a caring individual. Um, I know when we first learned of his passing, um, a friend of mine uh, texted me and said, we lost a good human today. And that's what we lost. We lost a good human. He was one of the best humans I've ever known. Rick was real. He was always there for you when you needed him. Rick is the perfect recipient for an award where volunteers are honored for their lifetime achievements and all the work they put in and for all the years they put in for a while. I think my father, if he received this award truly, would have an amazing list of people that he would thank because you can't receive an award of this magnitude without incredible support from the community to be able to do this. He would say, thank you for allowing me the opportunity to serve the community in this way and being able to do something that I love to do. Thank you for giving me that opportunity.